is 11:23 now. A couple new shows are opening at the Palazzo, which has been empty, the theater there anyway, for a while now. And there's a lot going on at the Resort Casino, along with the Venetian and columnist John Castellamides, who writes for the Las Vegas Sun. The Cats Report joins us in studio to talk more about it, as he always does. So I know there's a lot of action going on. A lot there of action here at action the Palazzo. Yeah. Now this theater right. was originally made for the Jersey Boys, right. right? And it's completely different now. It was a proper theater when the Jersey Boys opened back yep. in uh, in '09, and it's been uh, renovated and reimagined, and uh, for a show that itself is a reimagining of the better title, titles of Baz Luhrmann, mm -hmm. and it's called Baz Star Crossed Love, and they've cut down the capacity and created a figure eight format in the middle of the floor with a with a catwalk coming out. Ooh. A very cool kind of. Uh, there's some couches in there. There's some uh, round uh, cocktail tables, and this is all to uh, welcome this particular production. Now, we all, or you might remember Baz yeah. from Light at Mandalay Bay. It had a seven-week run there last year before um, Cirque du Soleil pulled out of the nightclub business. Cirque was an original partner in the show, and they had an uh, operating partnership in, in Light. Exactly. They I lost Light, and then Baz was looking for a home, and they found one at the Palazzo. Yeah, and I remember when I went, I thought, gosh, the talent in this show, the super voices, talent. super, really mm -hmm. never heard anything like mm -hmm. it. Um, and then I noticed um, that it had closed, and I thought, well, I wonder if it's going to reappear here on the Strip. There was talk about it. So this is where it will be. And those photos we were just showing was from rehearsal this Yeah, week, we, right? I was at uh, uh, almost a full run-through on Sunday, mm -hmm. and the show is going to, as you said, is going to be very talented, fun to look at, beautifully choreographed, the band burns, a live band. Another example for don't track shows in Las Vegas. Mm. You're, 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 you're selling yourself short. Right. Give it a chance to succeed that way. Um, it's it's uh, opening on the uh, 9th, on mm -hmm. Saturday, uh, for previews and on the 12th formally. We'll okay. see how it does. The biggest challenge, as executive producer um, Shane Shield told me, is getting people to go to the show yeah. and sell tickets. It's very highly regarded. They do these um, reimagining mm -hmm. uh, musicals with uh, Quentin Tarantino yeah. and John Hughes and Martin Scorsese. And uh, on ABC next year, they're going to be starting a run of live performances uh, from areas to be to be named, and Las Vegas might be one of them. Okay. So they're, they're becoming a very big deal. Okay, and Las real Vegas quick, is part of it. Clint will be, Clint Holmes will have a show after, after that yes, at 10 o'clock. Yes, Clint Holmes' show will follow Baz, and he opens on the 26th, I think, okay. uh, formally. And uh, yeah, his show's called uh, Between the Lines. So right. that theater, and it's going to be in that same spot, mm -hmm. is going to be happening for great live entertainment. And Clint's show, we can go on and on about that, too. He's a he's a great performer, and his, his musical lineup is awesome, and the concept is great, too. And Steven Tyler was just there, right? Was that a Steven, one Steven time, Tyler right? was over at the Venetian Theater Venetian. on the property. That was a one-off. Yeah. I'd like to see more of that. Yeah. Yeah, with a band called That's Loving Mary. Fun, yeah. It was wild to see Steven Tyler in that. Steven Tyler's big anyway, but he really played huge in the Venetian Theater, and he had a great time. It mm -hmm. was really fun. I'd like to see that come back. All right, so we've got a lot of things ha uh, happening, which is good at the Palazzo and Venetian. Let's talk about downtown Las Vegas, because I know there's some changes going there in the Arts District. I was sad to hear that the Beat Coffee House is closing. Yeah, this is the, this is the anchor tenant in, in the, uh, the enclave called Emergency Arts in the mm -hmm. old Fremont Medical Building. Mm -hmm. Now, this was, this was opened in 2007 as, uh, you know, the Beat was the, the coffee house and it was a, an area for some, uh, you know, gallery spaces and for artists and residency and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. There's some office space in there. You know, the Life is Beautiful offices used to be in there. Sure. It was a cool little hang in, in downtown Las Vegas with the Beat on yeah. the first floor. being. I wrote Loved out of there it. many times. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, that was a Cats Report Bureau for a there. long time. <laughs> yeah, I live, I live near there. And, um, what has happened is that they, the Cornthwaites, Michael and Jennifer Cornthwaite, who were who were two of the engineers for the um, redevelopment of downtown Las Vegas, they own the downtown cocktail room, which opened before the the beat ever did uh, mm -hmm. in 2007. They've um, they're, they're no longer part of this. The the landlord El Cortez is bringing in a restaurant called Eureka. Eureka, and it's going to take up that entire first floor and it's going to be open by the middle of. Uh, 2017, and Eureka has about 23 outposts in the Bay Area, Southern California, Seattle, and Texas, mm -hmm. and it's a, a, a burger place. It has 40 craft beers, and it's pretty cool, and it's the first chain to move into that Fremont East area, so we'll see how it, how it behaves. That seems to do well, too, the pub style and all yeah, that, down, that It downtown. hits the, the, the sweet spot for that, and we'll see how chain works in right. Fremont East. That word? Yeah. You know, the people are True, doing, I know, a you know chain I mean? restaurant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. But All I've right. never heard of Eureka before they moved in, so it's kind of an eclectic chain, yeah. I guess. And we'll read more about it uh, in the Cats Report, and also that's going to be in the Sunday, right? Yeah, the, the report about the uh, the beat and the Eureka changes are in the Sunday, and uh, the, the update on Baz is going to be in uh, is in Las Vegas Weekly uh, currently, cool. and will be on the Cats Report also. All right, thanks so much. John Katzlamides will be back after this.